Okay, so good morning. Welcome back. Uh, it's good to see the students again. Um, I also see like sh Shastri students and some young uh, junior students. That's nice. So the topic is, uh, actually the topic is phonetics, issues of articulation. Uh, I don't want to make it very complicated. Uh, even though in, in linguistics, you have to use terms, you know, uh, words which are very technical so which we normally don't use but i will just focus on a few specific things <clears throat> issues of articulation means first of all i mean let us all be together to understand what what does the mean what does the word articulation means i want to i mean ask uh, is it in your vocabulary do do we use this word articulate to articulate is it's a verb isn't it articulation is a noun who will want to say something what is what what do you mean by articulation or articulate then we look into issues of articulation anyone someone <sighs> Like, honestly, have you heard about the, you have, sound? To pronounce sounds, okay, okay. To express, to speak, these are the common, uh, of course, meanings of the word. Uh, any speaker must be articulate, means, must be clear enough when you make sounds, when you form words, and words have syllables, syllables have sounds, sounds come in two categories, vowels and consonants. Uh, that much I think we know. But before I get into, I have some data, some diagrams, uh, some issues to discuss. But before we do it, again, second question is, do we understand what we are, uh, what am I trying to, what are we doing today, basically? It's not some new words and new terms in linguistics. Uh, my talk or my you know lecture today would be about about when we speak your own language which we call first language another language you can call it second language foreign language for example in my case i if i am trying to speak tibetan someday that would be a second language and i have a first language maybe english is second to you um, but when we, when we, too many messages, what's going on? Uh, let us first try to define the word articulation. Articulation of sounds. Articulation, expression, um, basically language. So when we, did, we do linguistics, when, it, when you're doing linguistics, within that you have this this, let's say, a chapter, a unit in which you learn about how to produce sounds. So I'm now using the word produce rather than articulate. So ye jo sound, formation of sound, production of sound, expression of sound, articulation of sound. It's, it's a very, very important thing to understand how it works especially in, in a foreign language, I mean, especially in a second language. So there are some basic, very, very basic issues about um, the area of um, articulation. Like any human being, when he or she produces sound, and why do we produce sounds? Because we want to speak words and we want to talk, we want to converse, communicate. Three things will be, involved I, I will be talking about these three um, three things will be discussed whenever you talk about articulation of sounds one is and you know when we say human beings articulate we are talking about our body we're talking about our lungs we're talking about our muscles vocal cords uh, the whole vocal system vocal voice these words are related, of course. Um, when we produce sounds, there is a place 
which every single sound has from where it is produced place of articulation number 1 number 2 would be how you make that sound ek to hai na ki if you say p which is a common sound in 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 most of the languages so i will also show you a mouth with a front side on the front of the mouth we have lips and p sound is always produced by joining the lips releasing the air by the way we will not go into that but that is the place of articulation number 1 which was number 2 would be how ultimately this air came out what did you do differently from other sounds every single sound you have to do something different in order to articulate that sound so the number 2 thing is how do we articulate and to talk about how do we articulate we call this issue manner artif- of articulation first one was place of articulation number 2 is manner matlab how you articulate a sound there are more things involved by the way uh, you all know that every single sound has distinct features unique features they are different different from each other another thing will be involved is called voicing v o i c i n g of sounds uh, we also have another word for it phonation of sounds they are they are similar but let me very briefly introduce voicing kya hota hai so there are certain sounds when we make those sounds uh, they come out of the mouth only after you have certain vibration in your vocal cords in your throat you have two membranes two tissues muscles which are, which don't have bones of course these muscles uh, are like flaps like f- like some flag ka flap so some sounds come when these vocal cords try to get involved with with those i mean they they flap and they stir and they move and so those sounds in which these vocal these vocal cords in your throat are involved we call them voiced sounds v o i c e d for example g if you take your hand put it on your throat and say the sound g g g g if you do that you can actually feel something is moving in your throat and there are some other sounds we call them voiced consonants by the way tibetan also has majority of the sounds are called consonants very few are vowels um it is strange in english you have a total number of vowels which is quite a lot but basic vowel sounds in english are also few not many it is only when we when we differentiate between long vowels and short vowels and combination of two vowels which we call double which we call diphthongs that is a separate thing so the 20 vowel sounds in english are basically also coming from the five vowel vowels to kahani hai to same but um, some consonants consonant vowel we i think we we also need to differentiate consonant vowel kya hai um, all sounds when we produce if the air comes out of your mouth without any obstruction without any uh, restriction without any stopping if the air is freely flowing out it is a vowel and if it stops and then flows out it is a consonant i mean that's a simple definition so because when you say k p b r l n and other sounds you are not releasing the air in a simple continuous flow you are stopping it and then releasing it so that much about well so those sounds where vocal cords vibrate are voiced and then there are others for example s of course this is the first sound in the word stop in in the word stop the very first sound s the the moment you put your hand on the throat and say s no vocal cords vibrate you try to do that in this one hour otherwise i have said something and another one hour you will take you will forget outside so i i i will also maybe name some students to to answer some questions later on uh, so so you can listen to these terms 
bit bit carefully today so now we have a third third area of articulation third issue let's say of articulation which is voicing or phonation voicing is okay i mean is the voicing voiced or voiceless dusra category hai s wala jo s wala hai isme and of course tibetan also has this sound s isme um, you you no vocal cords vibrate so you say this is a voiceless voiceless consonant even though both cases mein they are consonants and there is some rukavat some stopping of air and then releasing it theek hai so first of all we try to define articulation it is it is the expulsion of air it is uh, speaking of sounds which can happen in in two ways one is continuous flow of air which which become vowels and the other is stop and flow consonants and then consonants when they are articulated we have to well linguistic students we have to understand these three issues where is the sound coming from the place and by the end of this this talk i would want someone to tell me the place of the sound in tibetan which i am struggling with a lot i am struggling with this sound a lot um, the first sound of the capital of tibet huh? and the name there are so many names lakpa sering is not here but lakpa sir was here uh, some some was he is here of course uh, but it it's not l it's not lakpa it's not hakpa it's well if we if i discuss it with students it it is something distinctly different so uh, the three things i have talked about are important if you if you understand those three understand matlab if you if you feel that these three things are very important in identifying the the distinct special different sounds jaise abhi humne do sounds ka baat kiya s and g g comes from from your we call it glottis uh, there are terms for it glottal it's a glottal sound matlab gale se aa raha hai but s is is at the front it's not lips wala but it's so i i'm also going to look at sounds i'll spend 15 minutes on it with diagrams and and ye jo naam hain they are very important so i'm still looking for it and someone some student may tell me later on ki jo lakpa ya hakpa ya hasa this sound ka place kaun sa hai first thing and then uh second what what did i tell you there there is a second issue manner so i i don't want to only speak myself in this i i want someone to participate as well manner of articulation maine kya bola what does it mean manner i think i think place of articulation is pretty simple to understand so manner did i explain it manner how you make that sound how will will mean what do you do when you huh, what do you do where do you stop the sound where do you release it so for example jo english wala ek sound hai l which is not hakpa wala but english wala l um whenever you whenever you use that sound uh the air and it's a consonant this means air will be stopped a little bit and then released so anything you say with with l sound um um give me a word with with l l uh, could be anything your your word uh, huh lama if if l is is there in lama of course uh, the english l uh, the moment the moment this first sound will be produced air will come from the sides of the tongue so when you talk about and come after some stopping thoda rukega fir release hoga sides of the tongue say so in the middle somewhere the tongue comes and situates itself holds itself but allows the air coming from the sides it's called a lateral sound lateral hota hai sides wala sound and then there are others what i'm trying to say is that even more important than place of articulation because there are hardly few places manner of articulation is is slightly tricky but the most important thing i think the most important issue of articulation like for example i'm saying ki that lasa wala l i'm struggling to find the place but i'm 
I'm struggling 10 times more to find how is, is this produced? Where is the air and is it is it coming from, coming from of course the throat, but where does it stop and then where is it is it released? For a foreign uh, speaker of Tibetan, uh, this is an issue. And similarly, there are there are sounds in English which you find difficult. Maybe, for example, is there any sound in English which you which you struggle with? So when you write a word like measure, many students say ultimately they end up saying major or major or some. So j ki bajai, j ki bajai j is is one such tricky sound sound. But there are there are others. There can be others. So today's class is only about realizing that manner of articulation is an important issue. And if you have enough data, if you have enough diagrams, if you have enough theory to understand that various sounds have different manners of coming out, which we, which we have names for, and we'll talk about it, Abhi. If you, if you control that part of the, of the linguistics uh, subject, I think it will help speakers to not only learn foreign languages better, but also also the various dialects of Tibetan. I mean, I, I had a discussion with a student from Arunanchal and I was, I was surprised, this was few months ago, I was surprised that even that student struggles with the sound, Lhasa wala, first wala sound. So I, I asked him that, I was like, kindly teach me where is that sound. And to my surprise, he was like, uh, sir, mujhe bhi zyada achitra nahi aata hai. And I was quite amazed. Then I came to know that even Tibetans would struggle to, to speak certain sounds of different dialects of various other places. Maybe Ladakhis uh, would. So that's why even within one language, knowing the theory of articulation, just may more than the place, manner of articulation is, is a crucial thing to understand. So today is, is mainly about manner of articulation. Third thing would be which sounds are voiced and which are, which are voiceless. Just I'm repeating repeat kar raha Okay, I will uh, open. Let, let us first spend 10 minutes on places of articulation. Let us look at a mouth, not mine. So Ultimately, there are many, many words. It looks like this. I will enlarge it a little bit. But we have to be familiar with these things. These are not just foreign words which, which uh, we have to forget. This is what linguistics is about. I mean, when you, if you someday explain to me that that sound hai with which you are struggling so much, almost on the verge of crying, that kind of struggle, uh, if you explain it one day, you will have to locate it technically locate it and explain it to me. So as you can see, we have a nose, we have a mouth, we have different names for it. Here there is a crowd of many, many terms. So you may not remember anything or something, but iske baad I will show you one by one. But very, very briefly, this is the, your nasal cavity. Do teen, in mein se do char naam, at least we can remember. Nasal, naak wala, nose, nasal cavity. So you make many sounds which are nasal sounds. Like ma, like na, and the Tibetan uh, nga mangwala, which which recently I I improved, huh? uh, nga, nga, and of course there are some others uh, as well. Uh, then you have the lips, the sounds you make from the lips, like pa, b, where lips are involved. Only lips are involved. Uh, we call them labial sounds. Then there are your teeth. The sounds you make with, with the involvement of your teeth. Can there any sound where you, you involve your teeth? Right. Okay. Even, even the sound l, l, you have to, ha your tip of the tongue must touch the te teeth. Sometimes it doesn't touch but stands right in between the teeth with some sounds. So you have jo, jo ma major, major jo, jo organs. Hai, Mouth ke. Then this thing, this thing, just say you can say the roof of the mouth, you can say is called palate. And then there are sounds which are, which are called palatals or palatal sounds. Uh, so we are just categorizing some. Then this is your tongue, front of the tongue, middle of the tongue, back and root. Then you have 
glottis jahan se vocal cords hai etc the nasal cavity you even have this little thing hanging called velar velum those kind of things uvula and uh, all these and many more other things will also be involved jaise ye jo ye jo uh, palate hai at the very front you call it ridge of the mouth teeth ridge teeth say just behind you have this this place now i told you this this will be too crowded many many words let us go to um, looking at each one of them maybe many of these one by one so i had to like so what are we doing what are we doing we are first of all looking at places of articulation various different places so it looks like crowd of many many places let us look at one at them one by one so bilabial and these are sounds in all languages there are sounds where both lips are used we call them bi matlab two two lips are used bilabial sounds uh, so the upper teeth फिर टू थिंग्स आर इन्वॉल्व वन वन लिप एंड वन सेट ऑफ टीथ एज यू कैन रीड लेबियो मतलब लिप्स डेंटल टीथ देर आर साउंड वी कॉल लेबियो डेंटल सो जो जो सिर्फ बाई लेबियल था उसमें साउंड लाइक ब एंड प इवन म इज इन्वॉल्व लेबियो डेंटल में योर अपर टीथ एंड लोअर लिप आर यूज लाइक सम साउंड लाइक i think f so labio dental sounds like f and w w in me your your lips and your upper teeth are will be involved so ho kya raha hai ki you you are releasing the air not before you stop it you must you stop it and the position place of that stopping is the upper teeth lower lip and then you release it the only then you you produce or articulate the f sound or v sound so lingo labial there are some some terms i'm skipping huh? like the tongue and the upper lip are used uh, tongue and upper lip uh, are used sometimes well i don't think there are many sounds like that in some languages it will be used i am skipping it there are sounds which are called dental sounds tongue and the upper teeth are are used uh, jaise हिंदी वाला द विच इज इंग्लिश वाला सॉफ्ट द एंड हिंदी वाला थ मूवी इज ऑल्सो कमिंग आउट थप्पड़ थ बट इंग्लिश वाला सॉफ्ट थ दीज टू साउंड आर डेंटल साउंड नाउ द टर्म्स विच आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम गोइंग टू स्पेंड अ लिटल मोर टाइम ऑन ऑन दोस दिस वन स्पेशली एलवी ओलर साउंड आर आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट आई मीन इवन फॉर टिबेटन एलवीओलर वही पैलेट वाला रीजन टीथ के बिहाइंड सो इफ यू इफ यू फोकस वेन वी स्टार्टेड वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द फ्रंट ऑफ द माउथ नाउ आई एम मूविंग लिटल बिहाइंड इसके पीछे जाते जाएंगे एंड द प्लेस ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन विल बी फिनिश्ड सो दीज साउंड आफ्टर द लिप्स एंड द डेंटल आर कॉल एलवीओलर साउंड विच एरिया अपर फ्रंट टीथ एंड द पैलेट सो अपर टीथ उसके जस्ट बिहाइंड and the chhat the roof the palate can you think of some sounds in which you uh, use uh, alveolar ridge the t especially english wala soft t but but if you say hindi wala t t and i will talk about i have to talk about uh, the difference between um, even even in tibetan i was looking for soft i mean there is a sound t sound t but then people also call your names as tashi so that means it's not tashi it's t is always also available z, z when you say z to once again the place aap sare thoda thoda bolo t aur z and you can feel you can feel that the tongue is moving up now your lips are not involved rather the front of the front of the the palate the the ridge is involved there are sounds in which palate and alve yeah well it's it's one and the same thing but 
there are some sounds like sh uh, like in sheep sheep ka first sound sh which is hum hum thoda thoda piche ja rahe hain huh? so this sound is made and i guess this is also available in tibetan uh, the place of this sound is right behind the the alveolar ridge alveolar ridge kya hai teeth ke upar wala upper teeth ke upar wala portion and the beginning of palate is is pa uh, palato alveolar aur jo jo sound which i th i think tibetans are struggling with z z measurement wala pleasure z so there is sh and there is z this is the region where where you have to make this sound from ha huh, this is the sound i was talking about hindi wala tomatar wala t you will be very surprised english english language hardly has any retroflex sound retroflex ka matlab hai ek aisa position jahan pe indian languages even some uh, i mean some some sounds in tibetan especially south india wale jo there are certain sounds wo aap tabhi karenge samajh mein aayega if we know retroflex kya hai so retroflex the position is here but i am just involving manner manner of articulation you have to take the tongue and the tip of the tongue is rolled back if this is the mouth the tip of the tongue will be rolled back a little bit and will stay there rolled back and then throw the the air out tab banta hai hindi wala t t i mean only say this t if you if you know hindi wala tamat but then there are many others danda wala jo d hai d once again the tip of the tongue is rolled and somewhere in in this area somewhere the place is retroflex retroflexion uh, yeah um, so there are four or five sounds if you go to south india somebody would say you will meet someone and i and you ask them ki which language do you do you speak if they say tamil they are not saying tamil the last sound of that is not l l to piche reh gaya aage wala jo tha they would say tamil i have practiced a lot and finally found it correct so ye l l so for them dravidian languages jo hain south indian languages usme usme specially retroflexive sounds are are five or six many sounds are there to so t d dh dh ढाल ढाल हिंदी में होता है ना ढाल शील्ड सो वो ढ सो देर आर दीज साउंड रेट्रोफ्लेक्स ये भी हमें ध्यान रखना है टिबेटन में भी हैं एंड आई एम आई माइट टेक लिटिल मोर टाइम टू टू लाइक प्रॉपरली अंडरस्टैंड वेयर इज दैट प्लेस एंड इन टिबेटन विच लैंग विच साउंड फिर हम थोड़ा पीछे जा रहे हैं एलवियोलर पैलेटल पैलेटल साउंड पे आते हैं वेन यू से द वर्ड येस इन इंग्लिश पैलेटल साउंड का मतलब है कि नाउ योर लिप्स योर टीथ योर एलवियोलर इज गला इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व वॉट इज इन्वॉल्व इज यू सी द टंग बिगिन्स टू राइज नीचे वाला जो टंग है इट बिगिन्स टू राइज टूवर्ड्स द पैलेट मतलब जो हवा निकलेगा वो टंग विल होल्ड इट सम हाउ स्टॉप इट नियर दी पैलेट दिख रहा है ना वो जो रूफ है लेकिन वो ही नहीं देख रहा है टंग विल ऑल्सो नॉट बी फ्लैट टंग विल रेज अ लिटिल बिट गो क्लोज टू द पैलेट तो सब लोग बोलो ट्राई करो द वर्ड येस में से जो फर्स्ट वाला वेरी फर्स्ट साउंड एंड यू ट्राई टू फील आपका टंग क्या रेज हो रहा है इज इट मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द पैलेट एंड द पोजिशन द प्लेस ऑफ द आर्टिकुलेशन इज इज वेल बिकॉज इट इज पैलेटल आई मीन इट इज बेस्ड ऑन दैट टिबेटन में तो है अफकोर्स देर इज ये आई एव हर्ड मैनी स्टूडेंट्स रिप्लाइंग टू सम समथिंग आंसर में सुनता हूँ तो बोलो हाँ या या दैट आई हियर अ लॉट तो वो ये ये वो ही है प्रॉबेबली नाउ वी आर मूविंग पीछे वी हैव टू ऑल्सो गो टू मैनर ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन हाँ तो आपका काम क्या है कि these terms these words ye agar aapki vocabulary mein aayenge only then you will be able to talk about tibetan sounds or or any other sound technically linguistically phonetically wo bada zaruri hai na otherwise we struggle with with uh, this aspect of linguistics ki sound ko explain kaise kiya jaye now we are moving thoda aur piche 
there are more sounds these are called wheelers so king mein jo k hai ya ngawang mein jo ng hai first wala uh, those sounds are made at the back of the um, palate matlab palate ko bhi piche chhod diya wheelum now we are going towards upar uh, wala ek we, we all of us have a fleshly sort of a tissue which is hanging uske paas mein ye these sounds can only be made at that k so ye se bhi piche k can only be made if you are almost touching your tongue is wo dekho tongue sharp ho ke vilam ki taraf ja raha hai thoda thoda k king king k and ng ng is also so much of that place is involved and finally of course before the last two ones uvular sounds there are sounds which you produce these are the uh, back portion wala sounds so uh, there are not many sounds uh, in english at least uh, which are produced here lekin ek french ka french mein ek sound hai r which is not r which is very difficult to pronounce to wo yahan se nikalte hain bahut piche se which is a uvular sound um then finally you have glottis epiglottal sounds or glottis sounds jo hum baat kar rahe the shuru mein g g comes right from uh the glottal sound it it is or surprisingly even the sound h h ka jo place hai happy wala h heat wala h h and g your your glottis is involved uh, by the way uh, ये भी एक ट्रिकी साउंड है मेरे लिए टिबेटन ह विच इज नॉट ह विच इज मे बी मे बी दिट्स कंबाइंड विद र लिटल बिट टू मी आई आई डोंट आई एम नॉट वेरी क्लियर ऑन दैट वन मोर टाइम एक और तरीका देखते हैं ताकि यू रिमेंबर दीज थिंग्स आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग इट नाउ बाइलेबियल वेन टू ऑफ योर लिप्स आर इन्वॉल्व don't be scared labio dental when lips as well as dent wo jo teeth are dental when upper teeth and tongue is involved alveolar just behind the teeth upper teeth just behind the teeth alveolar ridge bolte hain um like t d l फिर पोस्ट एल्वियोलर उसके पीछे जाते हैं फिर पैलेटल वी आर गोइंग बिहाइंड एंड व्हीलर एंड ग्लॉटल सो पॉइंट इज दैट प्लेस ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन इज एन एरिया विच स्टूडेंट्स मस्ट हैव हैव ऑन देयर फिंगर टिप्स सो बहुत ज़्यादा टर्म्स नहीं हैं छः सात ही हैं एंड द मोमेंट एनी लिंग्विस्टिक स्टूडेंट्स टुमारो टॉक्स अबाउट एनी साउंड जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ल तो उसे कंफ्यूजन नहीं होना चाहिए उसे पता होना चाहिए विच प्लेस इज इट और उसके लिए कौन सा टर्म यूज होता है इन लिंग्विस्टिक्स स्पेशली इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज बिकॉज दैट इज यूज मोर अब मैं चलता हूँ टू अ वेबसाइट विच विच आई वुड जस्ट ओपन जस्ट टू फाइनली फिनिश दिस दिस थिंग कॉल्ड कॉल्ड i think i can go to manner of articulation now uh, yeah so the question was how do we produce and how do we articulate sounds uske liye dusre words hain nasal now nasal is not a place nasal is a, is a manner hai na nasal cavity every human being has so ab we are looking at sounds like n m in which this is how we define it nasal consonants work when you let your air out of your nose when you pronounce them so uh, once again these are consonants matlab air will be somehow stopped and released but it is diagrammatically quite quite very technically shown ki jo glottis se hawa aa raha hai wo what have you done you have closed the the passage of palate as well as tongue by touching the tongue the back of the tongue with the back of the palate and hence 
वो ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट वहाँ पे ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट करेगा और रिलीज करेगा थ्रू नेजल कैविटी एंड वी हैव सो मेनी न म एक्चुअली हाउ टू टेस्ट इट दे से कि एक मिरर लेके मिरर लेके इफ यू इफ यू पुट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर माउथ एंड एंड से म एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट म म में तो दो साउंड्स मिला दी ना मैंने म प्लस अ द वन स्पेशल डिस्टिंक्ट साउंड इज इज म एंड वेन यू से म यू हैव क्लोज योर माउथ यू यूर रिलीजिंग तो वो वो मिरर के ऊपर अगर बनेगा वेपर्स बनेंगे तो दैट इज टू शो दैट द साउंड द द एयर इज फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम योर नेजल कैविटी सिमिलरली न नो वाला न एंड नावांग में वेरी फर्स्ट न इज ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस लाइक दैट तो क्या बोला अभी नेजल साउंड्स नाउ लेट्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अनदर मैनर ऑफ ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन वी कॉल देम स्टॉप्स सिंपली स्टॉप्स और प्लोसिव प्लोसिव बाय द वे कभी आपने सुना एक्सप्लोजन प्लो एक्सप्लोजन से बना है मतलब प्लोसिव मतलब सडन रिलीज ऑफ एयर सो यू स्टॉप इट कंप्लीटली एंड देन रिलीज इट लाइक लाइक एन एक्सप्लोजन ऑफ एयर तो पहले आप जमा होने देते हो मुंह के अंदर अंदर कहाँ पे एवरीथिंग इज ओपन एक्सेप्ट फॉर नेजल कैविटी विच इज स्टॉप्ड ब्लॉक्ड एंड देन यू सडनली रिलीज इट थ्रू योर माउथ लाइक एन एक्सप्लोजन लाइक द एयर एक्सप्लोड्स सो ज़्यादा नहीं देखेंगे सिबिलेंस एक एक टर्म हमें हमारे लिए इतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है सिबिलेंस इज अ साउंड विच विच ह्यूमन बींग्स डोंट डोंट रियली मेक बट वो जो पुराने टाइम पे टी होता था वो जो शाह ऐसी आवाज आवाज आता था दैट साउंड इज इज सिबिल एंड साउंड यूट्यूब पे किसी ने वीडियो बनाया है टेन आवर्स ऑफ दैट आई डोंट नो हु वॉच इज दिस बट पीपल पीपल लाइक इट्स कॉल्ड वाइट नॉइज यू रिमेंबर दैट टेलीविजन जो चैनल नहीं जब आता है तो क्या होता है बाय द वे अब इतना चैनल आता है कि यू डोंट इवन सी जब नहीं सो so, मैं एफ्रीकेट्स को देख सकता हूँ लेकिन उससे पहले आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू फ्रिकेटिव सिबिलेंट को छोड़ो फ्रिकेटिव के अंदर एक वर्ड छुपा है फ्रिक्शन एम सो दिस इज नॉट कंप्लीट स्टॉपिंग द एयर बट पार्शली स्टॉपिंग द एयर और अलाउंग द एयर टू कम आउट विद फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन क्या मतलब फ्रिक्शन मतलब इफ आई रब माई हैंड ऑन द सर्फेस इट इट इज इट इज नॉट वेरी स्मूद देर इज फ्रिक्शन मतलब देर इज पार्शियल स्टॉपिंग इनकम्प्लीट फ्लो तो अब देखो डायग्रामेटिकली द एयर एयर तो आता ही है बिकॉज वी आर अ लाइव लेकिन यहां पर इकट्ठा होगा पहले और फिर यू विल फ्रिकेटिव लाइक साउंड लाइक फ सॉरी साउंड लाइक स लाइक इन स्नेक सो यू यू प्रोड्यूस दिस साउंड नॉट बाई कंप्लीटली स्टॉपिंग द एयर एक्चुअली द साउंड इज सो अगर लगातार बोलते जाओगे यू विल फाइंड दैट अंदर से जो आया पहले रुका और फिर फिर निकला विद फ्रिक्शन इट्स कॉल्ड फ्रिकेटिव साउंड सो श एंड स बोथ आर आर कंसिडर्ड लाइक दैट अब मैं चलता हूं एफ्रीकेट्स सो वाई द वे आई माई बिग कंसर्न इज आफ्टर दिस क्लास यू विल फोगेट ऑल दीज टर्म्स एंड आई हैव बीन रिपीटिंग दैम अगेन एंड अगेन इनफैक्ट आई इसके बाद मैं पूछता हूं किसी से कि ग्लॉटल uh, क्या था एंड यू शुड इन योर ओन लैंग्वेज बी एबल टू से फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑन इट हाँ क्योंकि यही तो मेन याद रखना है लिंग्विस्टिक्स में टू टू टॉक अबाउट द प्लेस एंड द मैनर ऑफ सो प्लेस बाइलेबियल व्हीलर पैलेटल एंड मैनर एफ्रीकेट क्या होता है वेन वेन यू कंबाइन टू साउंड दो तरीकों से मिला के वेन यू प्रोड्यूस अ साउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल टिबेटन में है हिंदी में है इंग्लिश में है सब में है च चंडीगढ़ वाला फर्स्ट च सो वेन यू राइट इट उसमें दो सिंबल्स इन्वॉल्व होते हैं क्यों होते हैं बिकॉज इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू साउंड स्पोकन टूगेदर एफ्रीकेट में फ्रिक्शन भी है और एक्सप्लोजन भी है इफ आई टेल यू द फर्स्ट साउंड ऑफ जज ज जग वाला ज अब इसमें फ्रिक्शन भी है मतलब द साउंड इज नॉट फ्लोइंग वेरी वेरी स्मूथली प्लस इट इज ऑल्सो बींग एक्सप्लोडेड दोनों चीजें भी ऐसी भी साउंड हैं यू हैव साउंड लाइक ज सो वेन ट्राई टू से ज एंड नाउ ट्राई टू से सो स स वॉज फ्रिकेटिव जिसमें सिर्फ फ्रिक्शन से एयर प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है बट दिस वन ज और च 
is like for example change yeah judge these are called affricates so uh, now when you talk about it to to some people if you have to explain some tibetan sound ki wo affricate kaise hai hum dekhte hain baad mein koi tibetan sound ko to aapko ye sara language mein batana padega the air flow is produced with a combination of two things one is the air will be not released smoothly but with friction plus it will also be it will also be released suddenly like an explosion so friction and explosion dono affricate mein hota hai so you see uh, isme explosion bhi ho raha hai aur uh, friction bhi ho raha hai then wahi ye wala yes wala ye and r which is not hindi hindi wala nahi but especially especially american wala jo jaise hum bolte hain heart h e a r t heart but american would say heart usme usme thoda sa r approximant approximant well it, it is not very loud it is not very clear it is it is like half involved approximately involved let's say waisa to ye bhi ye bahut log bolte hain ki ye ek consonant nahi hai because because the air is flowing freely ye you know but there is there is something that makes it consonant uh, so flaps bhi hain but i will uh, not trills bhi hain these are these are rare sounds jyada use nahi hota hai i will i will not go into it because it's better to remember a few uh let's look at some little bit of theory i mean uh, we are talking about phonology and we have to talk about voicing before we finish voicing is the third issue of articulation i have talked about it some little vibration of vocal cords is called little vibration matlab you are not having vibration it's called voiceless and relatively more vibration of the vocal cords are called voiced so if you if you're just looking at these these words now wohi jo words hain unko hum thoda language mein explain karte hain labial well you can all read that put your fingers lightly on the throat and say s or z and s or z mein difference hai s is voiceless because vocal cords are not moving but z z like buzz wala z zebra wala z and your vocal cords vibrate they are voiced sounds so language mein phonation voicing is also very important so what i wanted to ask you how do you explain labial sounds uh labial is a place hai na where both of the lips will restrict the air dental when teeth will restrict the air labio dental when one lip and one teeth will stop the air har consonants mein stopping of the air hoga hi hoga alveolar thoda sa yaad hai alve kahan tha alveolar upar niche aage piche hai na teeth ke just behind you have the beginning of alveolar ridge and some people would call it the hard palate uh, palate to hai plate wo galat likha kisi ne then then you have the proper palatal so now we are categorizing all those sounds jo jo humne abhi uh, kiya labiodental alveolar palatal velar glottal and dusra kya kiya humne manner of articulation some some sounds are are called stops or plosives p b matlab you are doing an explosion of of sound ye manner hai fir fric friction wala fricative affricate jahan pe affricate jahan pe friction bhi hai aur explosion bhi hai stop bhi hai aur gradually friction wala release bhi hai nasal sounds glides and liquids which which i have not not touched much liquid uh sounds uh, uh, jaise l ka sound lateral sound hai wo with the help of the tongue nikal jayega but i am not going to uh go in the detail but the point today is that that if you want to explain some sound of tibetan to a foreign speaker you will need these 
areas. You will need keep place, manner, and voicing. Uh, by the way, I was trying to search for some Tibetan uh, sounds and the theory. This theory can be applied to Tibetan sounds. I came across some documents which I will also open. <clears throat> Ultimately, I was looking for, and maybe linguistic students will actually do this. Ye kya hai? English language ki consonants ka positions diga hua hai sara. Bohat hi beautiful diagram mein. From the glottis to lips to the teeth and the palate and the tongue, etc, etc. So, as you can see, sir is right at the, uh, sorry, sir nahi, per. Per is right at the the front frontmost position b m w this is wonderful way of of doing a language according to the positions i i would be very happy ki koi agar koi chart banaye tibetan sounds ko leke i could not find such a thing uh, in tibetan or any any language will be very well presented agar agar is tarah se positions ko bhi with examples of words lagaya jaye and niche of course you can read can you read saath mein ye bhi diya hai it ye bilabial hai ये एल्वियोलर है यू नो पोजिशंस अकॉर्डिंग टू पोजिशंस ये तो याद हो ही गया है ना कि फ्रंट वाली क्या बोलते हैं और लास्ट जो ग्लॉटिस से आता है ग साउंड या ह ह पूरा गले से आता है वो क्या है सो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू मेक अ पॉइंट दैट इफ इफ यू आर डूइंग लिंग्विस्टिक्स यू नीड दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स टू टू इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ऑफ वेरियस साउंड खैर ये भी सिर्फ प्लेस का है बट I can all, always, of course, email it to someone. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. So I think I have ten, fifteen minutes only. Huh? Right. Okay. So a simple search from Wikipedia brought me here. Huh? This chart, which, which was very helpful for me uh, when I wanted to. Now I wanted to want to talk about IPA a little bit. IPA. Who will tell the full form of IPA? Because linguistic students should know this. International Phonetic Association. International Phonetic Association. <laughs> Alphabet. Oh, Alphabet. Uh, just like, just like the. Jaldi nahi karna. <laughs> so just like there is A B C D wala alphabet, sounds ka bhi alphabet hai. Phonet, we, we are calling it phonetic. Phonetic means sounds. Phonemes are sounds. Phonetic alphabet. So, I think it's not very clear, but if I enlarge it a little bit. Now, you see, Tibetan sounds are wonderfully uh, not only shown in the IPA, just like ka can be written as ka plus a in IPA. IPA has a symbol, sorry, dunya mein, it remains the same. But also, see now, now वो category बन गया कि Tibetan की ये वाली signs palatal हैं, ये dental हैं, labial हैं, और उधर उनका क्या है manner. So वो horizontal axis पे you have the manner of articulation, and this vertical plane पे you have position. Yes or no? So whenever you say ka, 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 it's a it's a guttural sound. Ka, ka, पीछे से आ रहा है. If you say ch if you say ch, uh, I mean it's ch, isn't it? Cha, cha. Oh, of course, itna bhi galat nahi hua. Cha hi hai, and even the IPA is telling me it's cha. But now you can explain it to a foreign person that ye palate se cha can only be produced if you involve the palate. Similarly, ta will be dental, pa will be pa 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 labial, and and this one, correct, which you may laugh, but tsa is dental, and there are other others which which I would of course start struggling with. Maybe not you. So, एक तो ये chart बहुत ही interesting लगा मुझे and just before we finish. I would just share that कुछ ऐसा material है research हो रहा है पिछले दस साल में which is presenting the Tibetan language in the same manner जो मैंने बात किया आज 
One was this um, article, uh, maybe you have come across it, linguistic students. It is written by Nathan Hill. So I have read it closely, but it was a bit uh, difficult. So we are not going to read all of it, but I can highlight some, <coughs> at least some. some points in it. This article talks about Old Tibetan and then, then the various di dialects of uh, so the background of the language, then the family of the language and then the interesting thing is that this the first 16 letters ko bahut acha categorize kiya hai uh, in in the form of a of a map uh, form of a diagram in which you can clearly find the manner and so i'll just read few lines the first 16 letters in the alphabet of tibetan are organized in a manner exactly parallel to those of the indic scripts the row rows represent place row and column do cheeze hain the rows represent places of articulation Wheeler, palatal, dental, labial, and the columns represent manner of articulation. Voiceless, unaspirated. I have not talked about aspiration uh, today. Uh, there are sounds like the the sound is unaspirated. Aspiration ka matlab hai when you you also produce an additional air. Zada hawa chodna simply. So, so for example, the is is unaspirated. Zada hawa nahi de raha hai. But the Anna, there are two different sounds, th and th. A th may you you produce you you have more uh, air flow. So we call that them aspirated sounds. There are some which are unaspirated, voiceless, voice many bataya. So all these combinations, voiceless aspirated, voiceless unaspirated, voiced, nasal, etc. Uh the first sixteen. Uh, sounds so ka kha ga of course but now of course you also have ipa symbols with so for me personally as a student of linguistics this was very interesting aapko bhi is tarah se padhna chahiye so that when you explain the sound the place and the manner is properly uh, dental labial fricative velar palatal uh, should also be explained a uh, uh, few words about so in this article they have mainly talked about amdo dialect i mean this the whole article is about amdo dialect but at least the alphabet written alphabet is the same and yahan bhi wohi cheez hai ka uh, columns bane hain rows bane hain and you have ipa you have symbols uh lekin point kya hai aaj ki class ka pura point kya hai ki whenever you have alphabet you know that these alphabets have sounds but kahani yahan pe khatam nahi hota hai to to a foreign learner or to a student of tibetan who is learning linguistics aapko each one of these sounds ko place manner voicing and aspiration wo wo uh, wo ab jaise isme there are some sounds which are ye wala hai aspirated kha यह है अनएस्पिरेटेड का मतलब एस्पिरेटेड अनएस्पिरेटेड उसमें हवा ज्यादा है दूसरा कम है ऐसे ही था और ता एंड पूरा उसे एक्सप्लेन करना आना चाहिए कि प्लेस कहां है पोजीशन एंड व्हाट इज द मैनर ऑफ दैट दैट आर्टिकुलेशन ऑफ द साउंड एंड ऑफ कोर्स देयर 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 आर मटेरियल्स व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू जस्ट बिफोर जस्ट बिफोर वी गो Uh, so further when you start thinking about it in terms of those places and manners this we call it sound description uh so k is non aspirated but iska matlab pata hona chahiye explain karna aana chahiye ki ki that additional air is not coming out k only or ka in tibetan and it is voiceless voiceless ka kya matlab who will tell me less 
relatively less or no vibration of vocal cords theek hai uh, and then there are voiced sounds in tibetan as well wheeler wheeler matlab did we aaj kuch aisa kiya humne kuch aisa word dekha tha wheeler so of course when you move piche palate ke piche you have wheeler uske niche glot glottal so ye k k piche wala sound hai ek ha huh? so you can even write a paragraph do paragraph on on all of this and it's also a stop matlab the the air is not it, air is stopped and then released you know j- bolne se sabse pehle bolne se pehle k bolne se pehle you stop it completely k and then you release it hai na wahan pe in in the position of the wheeler uh see it's wheeler nasal sound ng uh, nga uh, if if that is so i found this very interesting ki is sara research ho raha hai and you have the terminology and uh, there are just few things which are left um, otherwise places and manners and voicing is pretty much covered up uh, for tibetan with all these then there are some some uh, साउंड जो जिनका कोई फोनेटिक वैल्यू नहीं है क्यों नहीं है यू you नो know, उसका एक्सप्लेन ही नहीं कर पा रहे हैं इज इज इट बिकॉज द वर्ड इज नॉट यूज इज इट बिकॉज दैट वी डोंट नो वेयर इज द वेयर इज द साउंड इज इट अ नल अल्फाबेट वट इज द साउंड कोई है इसका साउंड इस वाले का आ ना प्रॉबली इन इन इट्स बिहेवियर इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ वॉवल बट वी आर लुकिंग एट कॉन्सोनेट्स एंड ये जो प्रॉपर्टीज दिखा रहे हैं ये सिर्फ कॉन्सोनेट्स पे अप्लाई होता है एंड व्हाई इज दिस साउंड नॉट इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ वॉवल्स बिकॉज आई थिंक टिबेटन हैव आई मीन टिबेटन लैंग्वेज फोकसेज ऑन द द बेसिक वॉवल्स विच आर आल्सो डायक्रिटिक्स बट नॉट नॉट कंसिडर्ड एज एल्फाबेट्स बट मे बी दिस इज नॉट इवन अ वॉवल कंसिडर्ड एज अ कॉन्सोनेट इस पर ज्यादा स्टडी करना चाहिए कि यू नो आई वॉज आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू टू एक्सप्लेन इट तो इस तरह से भी एक्सप्लेन किया जा सकता है देर आर सर्टन स्टॉप्स विच आर वॉइस लेस उसको माइनस वॉइस लिख सकते हैं देर आर सर्टन फ्रिकेटिव जो व वाला है लेकिन उसमें कॉम्बिनेशन वो कुछ दिखा रहा है र प्लस व का दिखा रहा है देन ऑफ कोर्स नेजल्स एंड सो बट यू कैन रीड दिस दीज कॉन्सोनेंट्स आर रेप्रेजेंटेड इन आम दो uh tibetan so there is research going on and uh i hope hamare hi linguistic students for example this question i go back to the place of articulation of of that ha uh, hasa lhasa uh wo mujhe abhi isme kahin dikh nahi raha hai is it this it's not so where is it <laughs> Uh, anyway maybe you will yeah is this a is there a aspirated l matlab zyada hawa wala l uh, probably that is the one we but i would like not not like to challenge you but i want that students should specially the tricky sounds of of tibetan for for second learner second speaker jo hai uske liye koi theory banao uska and uh, uh should be explained further so um in case you need these documents we will make them available for your research purpose anyway if you want to uh, continue that otherwise of course uh so this is what we have done uh we have today looked at the concept of articulation articulation means formation of clear and different from each other distinct sounds in speech articulation is very important concept because when you speak and give speech delivery 
बिकॉज योर वॉइस इज द चैनल ऑफ योर मैसेज अगर साउंड्स गलत बोलेंगे कन्फ्यूजिंग बोलेंगे तो मैसेज विल बी इफेक्टेड एंड हैंस द प्लेस ऑफ द आर्टिकुलेशन द मैनर ऑफ द आर्टिकुलेशन द वोकल कॉड सिस्टम्स इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन इट विच इज कॉल्ड वॉइसिंग ऑफ द आर्टिकुलेशन एंड एस्पिरेशन हाउ मच एक्स्ट्रा एयर इज इज बींग थ्रोन और अन एस्पिरेटेड नो एयर नो एडिशनल एयर सो ऑल द एल्फाबेट्स ऑल द साउंड्स कॉन्सोनेंट्स आर लुकड एट कैटेगराइज डिवाइडेड टेक्निकली लिंग्विस्टिकली फोनेटिकली एक्सप्लेन्ड इन दिस वे Uh, that is the whole purpose of of uh, today's lesson but it is an ex extremely important way to to explain to some student and even your first language tibetan you you have to explain it linguistically because mother tongue mein it's okay that you 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 are able to produce these sounds but the moment there is a different dialect for example that student from arunachal uh, wants your help i mean he speaks tibetan and it's a he speaks tibetan but uh, he is almost like me he is not able to pronounce hasa uh, in the in the correct way so wahan pe ye ye sara theory kaam aayega if you are able to give the properties of of all these sounds with with further explanation with these words we can close today's talk it was about um, these these important salient issues of articulation in phonetics thank you Mm, thank you sir for the abc presentation this is accurate brief and clear i just learned this phrase yesterday from kishalakto so thank you for the abc presentation and and this speech the we are all linguistics students so linguistic is mainly about the sound so it's become very important to understand how sound is produced from where it's produced uh, so as far as tibetan and grammar is concerned we don't have that much you know we have a very limited source to study about sounds uh, in when you look at the uh, source of articulation in tibetan we have only around eight source of articulations and the manners we in tibetan i think it's four so it's very limited and not so uh so you know specific but if, so we need to fill that gap from the modern uh, you know linguistics uh, the the way the the linguistic way ling modern linguistics uh, define the articulations and ways of articulation and source of articulation so we need to fill that gap from the uh, modern ling linguistics Uh, with this uh, i would like to once again thank mr jismit gill so just for this beautiful presentation and now i would take um, one or two questions from you if you have any <clears throat> oh good morning everyone especially very after a long time grateful to see mr jismit last <clears throat> speech uh sir my question is <laughs> uh how we do relate um, pronunciation and uh, pronunciation and uh, uh articulate how do we relate pronunciation and articulate what relation between relation between Rel the relation between pronunciation and, and, and articulation art yeah. i see okay so articulation is a is a category which comes under pronunciation the word pronunciation is a general word which means which involves all the things so for pronouncing you you have not only this for pronouncing you have the theory history i mean pronunciation involves uh, abc of the whole thing uh, pronunciation phonetics for example uske andar you have a unit called articulation now articulation requires these these things manner place theory uh, science of it कितनी हवा कितनी हवा नहीं एंड सो ऑन सो या आई मीन इट्स आई आई अंडरस्टैंड सम स्टूडेंट्स मे कन्फ्यूज द टू वर्ड्स दट प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड आर्टिकुलेशन आर मे बी नॉट वेरी डिफरेंट बट आर्टिकुलेशन इज इज अ स्पेशल वर्ड वी यूज फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड्स प्रोनाउंसिएशन फर्स्ट वर्ड क्या था प्रोनाउंसिएशन प्रोनाउंसिएशन इज अ कॉमन वर्ड फॉर फॉर स्पीच है ना आई language is pronounced words are pronounced but how those words ke andar sounds individual sounds are articulated that will involve little more science 
that will in involve position manner aspiration and other things labeling uh, diagrams that is more the the thing about articulation is it is it clear it's it's not very different lekin the word pronunciation is a general word jaise tibetan pronunciation uh, english pronunciation but when you when you do pronunciation then for example you join the classes of pronunciation theek hai this is a general thing फिर उस दिन फिर हर रोज आर्टिकुलेशन नहीं होगा किसी किसी खास लेसन में वी विल टॉक अबाउट द थ्योरी ऑफ आर्टिकुलेशन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड्स एंड फॉर लेट मी से दिस प्रोनाउंसिएशन इन्वॉल्व क्या साउंड साउंड्स आर मेड अप ऑफ टू कैटेगरीज कॉन्सोनेट्स एंड वॉवल्स है ना एंड उसके बाद वेर इज द स्ट्रेस सिलेबल कौन से सिलेबल को स्ट्रेस करना है नहीं करना है फिर टोन योर सेंटेंस का जो टोन है वो भी प्रोनाउंसिएशन का ही मामला है बट आर्टिकुलेशन इज अबाउट द पोजिशन एंड द एंड द मैनर इन विच विच दो इंडिविजुअल साउंड आर आर प्रोड्यूस्ड मतलब जितना भी डिस्कशन हमने किया ये सारा इसमें वॉवल कम दिख रहे हैं मोस्टली वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कि जब कॉन्सोनेंट प्रोड्यूस होता है आर्टिकुलेट होता है तो वो उसकी प्लेस कौन सी है और उसका मैनर uh, क्या है प्रोनाउंसिएशन में वॉवल भी आ जाएगा स्ट्रेस भी आ जाएगा सब कुछ आ जाएगा सो दैट्स अ मोर ब्रॉड ब्रॉडर कैटेगरी लेट्स लेट लेट्स से लिंग्विस्टिक्स के लिए आर्टिकुलेशन इज अ मोर टेक्निकल वर्ड प्रोनाउंसिएशन एक एक जनरल वर्ड है राइट गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून सर माई क्वेश्चन इज दैट वी हैव Uh, learn the pronunciation through uh, by learning a b c d in abacata uh, before uh, so now we try to pronounce english word but that not enough for uh, pronounce all the letters of uh, english mm. so now we learn uh, we say we have to learn ipl pronunciation chart so um, my question is that uh, uh, why uh, we cannot pronounce rightly for all the english letters uh, by abacadra and apc and we why we didn't learn um, just beginning through ipl pronunciation because um, means uh, for uh, for a person uh, when they get uh, older means to, to learn pronunciation is uh, more difficult for us so yeah so <laughs> so yeah i mean there can be a very long answer to this but a short one is ki all languages have these two forms one you use for writing purpose only and th for that we need alphabets uh, but for speaking alphabets are not enough because spoken mein there are these variations minor changes and subtleties right writing mein itna zyada detail mein we we don't need the sounds speaking mein because एक एरिया चेंज करते हैं हिंदी भोजपुरी बन जाता है यू नो यू हैव सो मेनी डायलेक्ट्स द वे यू स्पीक द वे यू स्टॉप द एयर देर आर मेनी मेनी आई मीन सिंपली स्पीकिंग वी हैव टू मेक अ डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन रिटन नोटेशन सिंबल्स एंड स्पोकन सिंबल्स इट इट इज एप्लीकेबल टू एवरी एवरी लैंग्वेज मोस्ट ऑफ द लैंग्वेजेस लेट से मॉडर्न लैंग्वेजेस लेट से स्पीकिंग इज अ मोर सोफिस्टिकेटेड वे ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन and you need more sounds than only the alphabets ek aur reason hai ki historically when we start writing something parallelly we start speaking something speaking is a more convenient thing convenient samajhte ho ki speaking is more flexible you need speaking for saying so many things writing is a more formal uh, writing is a is a more formal thing which which you uh, j for example the the english word knowledge in writing has k at the beginning right similarly in tibetan there are many many words jin mein al alphabet hai written but in spoken it is silent get it now socho ye kyun hua hamesha se aisa nahi tha when when it started uh, probably those silent letters were also spoken with the passage of time ek ek principle of economy hota hai language mein har language mein principle of economy matlab ki when we speak we we have shortage of time we need more flexibility convenience zyada important ho jata hai to hum hum alag hone lagte hain we start 
moving away from written alphabets. Uh, maybe your question is, should there not be a similarity between the two? It will be very difficult to, to say so many things with, with lesser alphabets. You need more sounds. Uh, because speech is more fluid, more flexible, more convenient. Uske principles different hain. And there is no other way to than to, to also also look into the sounds and the symbols. IPA is, is, is an international phonetic alphabet for all languages. Have you seen the chart of, of IPA? Usme, usme Tibetan symbols bhi hai, English symbols bhi hai. So, um, well, it sh uh, let's hope uh, life should have been easier, but that's we, we live life in, in two ways, formal and formal. I'm not saying speaking is only informal, but out of the two, writing and speaking, speaking is a, is a different kind of a communication. And for that, symbols have uh, symbols chahiye, because we, we make more sounds than we write alphabets. Um, I mean, how much writing is done and how much speaking is done, iska, you start measuring, you will find the answer. Uh, hence, you, you need more symbols for uh, these differences of, of uh, alphabets or, or alphabets' ka sounds. Uh, so, linguistics is all about, about a written symbol, but uska jo phonetic value hai, phonetic value means speech value. Wo her, her language may different hai. And uh, dekho, baat ye bhi hai ki if you can imagine hundreds of years ago, these differences were not there. I have even come to know that Tibetan may aaj ki date ke Tibetan may you have 50 plus what? Alphabets? Nahi. Not alphabets, but sounds. I mean, so maybe the list is increasing. Uska reason dhoon na padega. Reason ye hai ki when we start on paper, it becomes more formal. It takes much more time to change. Alphabets change very, very slow. Written writing changes very slow. Like in speaking, mein, we are doing a different thing. We Different thing, matlab, writing or speaking, dono ke liye we have made two sort of symbols. Some of them are similar, like K. Wo IPA may be K aisa hi dikhta hai, like in alphabet may be aisa dikhta hai. But there is no final answer to ki aisa kyun ho, na, kyun ho ra hai. Human beings have these two ways of communicating, writing and, and speaking. Speaking has different uh, symbols. Um, I might not have answered uh, your exact question, but what, what was the question exactly? <laughs> you, you asked why, why is ABCD not enough to... Yeah. Not it's, enough to communicate. Uh, actually, you should have enough for our, to pronounce the letters because now we feel that uh, our pronunciation for the English letters is not enough. So now we have to learn IPL again. So it, that's not. You are saying now, but it was always like that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the answer. Maybe not the best answer, but it was it was always like that. Kisi ko bhi koi bhi language seekna hai na, to you have to write separately then than speaking uh, phonetic values of it. Uh, let's say ki when you write, maybe this is the last time I want to uh, address this question. When you write, your this ji sara jo aaj bola hai, this is not involved in writing. That means itself, it is a different system. Or jab bolne lagoge, you, your, your whole mechanism, your sound system changes. And it keeps on changing because people are speaking more, life is moving so fast. Writing is, is quite similar to how it was earlier, but speech is changing so much. Um, these words like wanna, gonna, uh, lemme, uh, these, these were not part of uh, writing. Now they have even come in, in writing, but that is very informal. Uh, maybe uh, 50 years ke baad, this will become formal word, lemme. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to use this in, in uh, the campus uh, or the, in front of a teacher. Let me go. You, you don't want to, but you never know. Bees saal ke baad, maybe it will become a very common thing. Writing may be common ho jayega. So, answer is that, that we are communicating in two ways. And one of the ways is very fast changing, very flexible. And the other is slow and formal and, and uske liye notation different chahiye or speaking ke liye something else. हेलो सर मेरा प्रश्न ये है कि शायद इनका भी प्रश्न एक एक जैसा हो रहा है लेकिन मेरा एक शंका है कि अगर लिंग्विस्टिक के नजरिए से देखें तो 
लिंग्विस्टिक में जो है एक बोली होती है और एक होते हैं ग्रामेटिकली जो भाषा होती हैं उन दोनों में से किन किन को जो हम ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट देना चाहिए कि लिंग्विस्टिक के एक रिसर्च के लिए और अग यदि हम अभी बहुत सारे कुछ नए चीज़ आते रहते हैं तो उसके लिए एक हम नया नाउन यानी एक नया संज्ञा नाम देना चाहते हैं और उसी तरह एक हम एक क्रिया जो वर्ब्स होते हैं उसका अगर नया शब्द बने कि किस तरह से बनना चाहिए या कि हम पहले नाउन बनना के नाउन बनाना चाहिए कि उसके बाद वर्ब पहले या वर्ब बनने के बाद फिर नाउन बनना चाहिए इसमें आपका क्या मत है ओके द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इज ईजियर ईजियर और और मोर इंटरेस्टिंग पहले आपने पूछा कि ईजियर uh, ईजियर uh, भूल भी जल्दी जाता है पहला वाला क्या था कि uh, हाँ लिंग या ओके वेन वी से लिंग्विस्टिक्स इट हैज़ मैनी ब्रांचेज हमने एक वर्कशॉप भी किया था उसमें हर सेपरेट लेक्चर वॉज गिवन टू एक पूरा लेक्चर था फोनेटिक्स पे फिर एक था सिंटेक्स पे सिंटेक्स इज वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वैन ग्राम ग्रामेटिकली हम जब लिखते हैं ना तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द रिटर्न वर्ड कि पहले क्या आएगा अब वो हर भाषा का अलग है एस वी ओ इंग्लिश का है टिबेटन में वी बाद में वर्ब लास्ट में आता है हिंदी में भी लास्ट में आता है तो लिखने का जो जो सिस्टम है उसे हम सिंटेक्टिक स्टडी बोलते हैं जो कि लिंग्विस्टिक्स के अंडर ही आता है बोलने का जो सिस्टम है उसे हम फोनेटिक फोनेटिक्स भाषा उसका नाम दिया हुआ है दैट इज सो लिंग्विस्टिक्स अपने आप में बहुत ही बड़ा विशाल सब्जेक्ट uh, है जिसके अंदर सो uh, so, आपका क्वेश्चन था कि राइटिंग वाला जो है उसको लिंग्विस्टिक्स कैसे देखता है किसको ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस देना चाहिए वेल ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि ग्रामेटिकल उसका सिस्टम होगा ही नहीं हाँ कोई भी भाषा होगा बोलने वाला जो मैं मैं ये कहूँगा कि वो जब पहले बोल रहा हूँ वो ज़्यादा ज़्यादा फ्लेक्सिबल है लूज है हम हम वर्ड के साथ प्ले करके आगे पीछे कर सकते हैं जब तक वो समझ आ रहा है लेकिन वो जो समझ है वो किसी ना किसी रूल पे तो होगा ही मतलब एट एनी गिवन टाइम अगर आप भोजपुरी गाना गाओगे तो उसका एक स्ट्रक्चर बना पाएंगे हम कागज़ पे कि पहले ये बोला बाद में ये बोला एक कॉमन स्ट्रक्चर हाँ वो लूज ज़्यादा है लिखने आ, लिखने वाला जो जो है ना जो अगर बोली है बोली में चेंजेस ज़्यादा आती हैं एक्सपेरिमेंट ज़्यादा होते हैं इनफॉर्मल ज़्यादा होती है तो ये ये जो क्वेश्चन है कौन सा ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है वेल well, इसका आंसर यही एक ही होना चाहिए कि दोनों ही अपनी अपनी जगह पे इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्वेश्चन डिपेंड करता है कि हम कौन सी स्टडी कर रहे हैं अगर मैं किसी पुराने गुफा में से किसी लिपि का कुछ देख रहा हूँ कुछ मिला है मुझे तो वहाँ कोई बोल नहीं रहा है है ना इट बिकम्स हिस्टोरिकली सो इम्पॉर्टेंट कि मैं उसकी स्क्रिप्ट को रिटर्न उसमें सारा रिकॉर्ड करूँ तो लिंग्विस्टिकली होना उनका उनका सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर देखना पड़ेगा जो भी वो मीन करेगा लेकिन एट द सेम टाइम ये जो अभी वाना लेमी गाना ये ये चल रहा है ये ये बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चेंजेस मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड की हैं सो so, दोनों अपनी जगह पे इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट्स व्हाई आई सेड कि लिंग्विस्टिक्स की अपनी अपनी ब्रांचेज हैं सिंटेक्स फोनेटिक्स एक और था हमने किया था सीमेंटिक्स सीमेंटिक्स का मतलब है कि भाव क्या है मतलब उसके मीनिंग्स क्या हैं वर्ड्स के वो कई तरह के मीनिंग होते हैं डेनोटेशन कॉनोटेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट से रिलेटेड मेरा आंसर मुझे तो यही समझ में आता है कि हर एक का अपना अपना वैल्यू है इंपॉर्टेंस है ज़्यादा कम नहीं हो सकता है इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वॉट यू आर स्टडिंग जिस दिन लिंग्विस्टिक्स में आप आप ग्रामर के सिंटेक्स के स्ट्रक्चर को सेंटेंस को uh, समझना चाहते हो उस दिन उस दिन रिटर्न वाला वो स्टडी बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है एंड जो नई नई चेंजेस आ रही हैं बोलने में उसमें दूसरा हो जाता है सेकेंड क्वेश्चन आपका ये था कि uh, अब वो सेकंड क्वेश्चन क्या था अगर हम नाम या नया नाम नई चीजों को नया नाम देना चाहते हैं और नए क्रिया होते हैं उसको नया नए क्रिया का नाम देना चाहते हैं हम्म तो पहले किसको देना चाहिए मतलब नाम पहले देना चाहिए कि मतलब क्रिया को ये लैंग यानी कि जब हम नाम से क्रिया बन जाते हैं कुछ ऐसे बातें या एग्जैक्टली क्रिया से नाम बन जाता है आई वुड से कि ये दोनों प्रोसेसेस चलते रहते हैं इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम लैंग्वेज टू लैंग्वेज जैसे इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज है तो जो सब्जेक्ट है नाउन का पोजिशन प्राइमरी रहता है 
मोस्टली नाउन से वर्ब बने हुए हैं हा? Uh, मतलब ज़्यादा प्रैक्टिस में जो है वो uh, जो क्रिया है वर्ब है वो वो मे भी सेकेंडरी होगा लेकिन uh, लेकिन कोई हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल नहीं है बहुत बार वर्ब से नाउन डिराइव होते हैं सो so ये ये एक कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस ही है मे uh, भी अभी इसका जवाब पूरी तरह से देना मुश्किल है है ना कि पहले कौन सा ज़्यादा ज़रूरी वाला ये ये मुद्दा ही नहीं होना चाहिए कि पहले कौन सा है हमें स्टडी करना पड़ेगा किसी खास पीरियड में चेंजेस क्या आई फिर हमें ट्रेंड देखने पड़ेंगे फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज की उसमें पोजीशन क्या है जैसे वर्ब अगर बाद में ही आ रहा है सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर में तो तो वर्ब्स प्रॉबली आर कन्वर्टेड फ्राम नाउन्स लेकिन मैं बड़ा कॉशियसली बोल रहा हूँ प्रॉबली आई मीन आई एम आई एम नॉट एन अथॉरिटी ऑन इट हाँ इतना ज़्यादा अभी स्टडी नहीं किया है इट्स अ नाइस क्वेश्चन आई विल आई विल एक्सप्लोर दिस थोड़ा फिर मे बी आई कॉन्टेक्ट यू यस तिल्ले माई क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दैटिन लेटर विद अ फॉरिनर देखान स्वीक लेटर लाइक हर दर्शाइकल टंग so they can speak <laughs> and but when i teach you uh, when i discuss with the foreigners i try to uh, uh try try my best to teach them again and again uh, with the uh, sometimes i uh, introduce them um place of uh, mm-hmm. letters mm-hmm. but they think they even can speak can speak so <laughs> what is the uh, problem for them so my question is this yeah i gave a few examples like la wala jo if i am the if i am that foreigner ya yeah, a tibetan can be a foreigner learning english that is also a possibility dekho baat kya hai ki only dekho when when we speak and we speak so fast and we keep on speaking many words to written or speaking mein antar hai itna tez ho raha hai ki you you can't estimate you cannot guess kahan pe kaise bola wo ha huh? that's why foreigners need more and more explanation theoretical explanation place manner uh, kaise hua and that's why th- their studies are very technical you know th- they are more when they learn languages they go by the theory of the positions and all and uh, why can't they learn well uh, by the way this first observation that tibetans have a magical tongue i i have started believing that for the last uh, some months i mean uh, in the sense that that when a hindi wala ya ya other uh, for example have you heard south indian speakers speaking english especially south indian they struggle so much they really struggle a lot to to uh, even north indians are struggling not as much so you can immediately understand how south indian english bol raha hai maybe not so much with ye kyun hai kyunki there are certain ट्रेडिशनल साउंड जो उनके सिस्टम में पक्का हो गया है द वन साउंड आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू डे वॉज रेट्रोफ्लेक्स अगर वो बोलेगा तमिल या पंजाबी कोई बोलेगा एक एक साउंड है न मे बी हिंदी में भी है बट टिबेटन में नहीं है न तो है लेकिन न न कण कण देर इज है नहीं है सो देर आर ऑफकोर्स साउंड विच टिबेटन विल स्ट्रगल विद मे बी ये रेट्रोफ्लेक्स साउंड ज़्यादा हैं साउथ एशियन स्पीकर में इंग्लिश में रेट्रोफ्लेक्स साउंड है ही नहीं है so they need that th- wo kabhi bo- soch bhi nahi sakte ki tamil aise bole lekin they can try lekin once 20 30 saal ki umar ho jati hai to it it is very difficult to change the the muscles but with agar ye theory available hai and practice ho sake uska conditioning it's called linguistic conditioning then uh, these changes can be made aisa koi impossible to nahi hai there are sounds in ha the the magic of tibetan tongue टिबेटन्स में भी रेट्रोफ्लेक्स कम है बहुत कम है एक दो हैं विच मेक्स देम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग सरप्राइजिंगली मेक्स देम मोर सूटेबल टू लर्न एंड स्पीक इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओनली यस्टरडे आई वॉज लिसनिंग टू अ रेडियो प्रोग्राम 
some journalist from Bhutan, Namge, I, I, I'm forgetting the full name. You won't believe me. I, I was not able to to uh, say that this is a Bhutanese or a Tibetan English speaker. She was accurately, very, very accurately speaking. So it's not impossible to to not speak. Balki mujhe lagta hai Tibetans are in a better position. They have less retroflex sounds. Uh, sounds like uh, da, like when you listen to Bengalis, Bengalis, they cannot speak R. I mean Hindi wala R bhi. So they will have to speak da for for ra. And similarly, there are many many problems with with all the speakers. Unke liye best tarika yehi hai ki theory diya jaye and practice karaya jaye. Position pe roka jai. and that's why speech uh, is is differently important than writing. Writing ka system totally different hai. syntax, grammar, and structure of the sentence, phrases, wo totally different hai. I today I'm not. Is there any? Uh, oh, good noon to. Uh, Sir Jasmine and my seniors, I don't know uh, this will be a question or not. I know my question seems like um, unmature or a narrow thoughts to me, but yeah. this topic is uh, uh, very popular and uh, uh, and I I would like to ask. Yeah. Some questions means not some on the one. <laughs> um, actually, the language is a uh, is for communication between uh, each other. So, um, why do we make so complicated? Uh, like uh, now. A linguistic and the phonetics and a IPA, why we make so, so complicated? Actually, the language is communication between each other, and have to we can uh, communicate not not only us uh, articulation, right? S uh, produce a sound like that. We can communicate um, hand signal like something whatever before we Good. so. Hmm. So, any other questions? Not right. Why we make so complicated nowadays? Yeah, that's I my question. I think even even you can answer that. I mean, anyone would like to to take this? Uh, maybe. Why why is it so complicated phonetics? And ये सारा आज क्यों इतना किया क्यों? Why can't we just say? And why can't we say with hand gestures? We are not animals. We have to remember this. Uh, we, I mean, we have a very complex system of emotions and feelings and. Uh, gestures and we we can do sign languages as well as देखो human beings की जो capacity है इसको problem की बजाय इसको दूसरी तरीके से सोचो कि we have a very sophisticated system of है तो सिर्फ हवा निकल रहा है लेकिन by by changing the positions and by doing certain tricks we are able to produce so many sounds in fact one human being can learn other languages of the world as well difficult ones too it has been proved this means ki we have a, as a human being we are different we have a capacity to to make complex combinations of sounds syllable sounds and lekin question was ye kyu kar rahe hain uska answer koi dena chahta hai to you can ye itna kar kyu rahe hain because we ultimately want to communicate very complicated things not not only ruk jao aa jao so jao kha jao not only this There are some things like एक एक पोएट ने बोला है ना क्या देर देर आर सम सर्टन स्टेटमेंट जो जो पढ़ के लगता है कि ये ये तो सिंपल बस वर्ड्स हैं बट उनके पीछे जो थाट्स हैं दे आर वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो थाट्स आर ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व विद विद हैविंग सो मेनी साउंड इन डायरेक्टली दैट इज ऑल्सो देयर कि सम मॉडर्न लैंग्वेजेस आर गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर नुआंस्ड एंड सटल देखो एक और बात है कि वेन ह्यूमन बींग स्टार्टेड ट्रेवलिंग कमिंग इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद अदर रेसेज अदर पीपल अदर सोसाइटीज तो उनके अपनी लैंग्वेज में जैसे इंग्लिश इज एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर यू 
English is so comprehensive because it has come in contact very comprehensively with many other countries, other languages. So it has embraced it. Now it can be a problem with someone. If someone is learning something new, it is very much for that. But once you do all, all of this more, you also become multi-dim... You know, you have this many ways to communicate. Uh, you can speak difficult sounds of Tibetan as well as the unimagined sounds, tricky sounds of English, which I didn't think before, but people have learned. You listen to uh, someone, Tuptin Jinpa, someone, uh, the, the journalist, I was, I was listening to her, I don't remember her name, she is a journalist in, in Bhutan. But uh, it's all possible. Uh, why don't we have a simple, is it understood? Why don't we have a, it's like saying, Sir, life simple kyun nahi hai? It's, it's simply that that is the, the question we have to give in the answer to, to your question. Uh, ki life is simple nahi hai, bolna bhi, you know, you have to informality hai, formality hai, formality kai tarah ka hai, uh, informality bhi ho sakta hai, poetry hai, poetry ka language different hai. Sometimes you use, uh, you have read these, uh, Shakespeare never nahi likhta hai, ne'er, uh, over bhi nahi likhta, or. Now, why does it write? Well, it's a reason, a technical reason, that sometimes he wants to measure the, the number of syllables in the line. Over, there are two syllables. Over, there is one. But the moment it is written, and the moment then it is read and spoken, so its effect will be different. Its music will be also different. The complexity will improve, increase. But in the same way, there will be more depth. Bhi toh zyada so, I think we have this, this complicated system because human beings are complicated uh, really uh, actually the answer to yehi hai jahan jahan gaye hain jo jo seekha hai jo adapt kiya hai that has all become part of their linguistic system their, their languages uh, in fact written language is, is simpler spoken is is much more it's changing so fast that's why you need to to <laughs> stay abreast with with these theories and explanations and all so, I have not given any answer to anyone, but uh, that's also uh, possible, uh, you know. You can, we can always talk after the, after the, after the session, right?